How many of y'all use your decorative salt and pepper shakers? If y'all have these cute, do y'all put actually salt and pepper in them? Do y'all actually use them? Tell me, I, I'm curious. Action. you a haul a while ago and I just had to do break it down into two pieces so I'm showing you another one uh, again this is this is estate sales I do believe mostly all estate sales are um, antique shops um, resale shops or something um, there's a lot to get through here so let's let me get to it now we went to this one place, it was called the cookie jar. The cookie jar had a lot of cookie jars. <laughs> um, he was packed. A uh, lot of cool things in there. It was in a small town outside of uh, Houston, um, probably two and a half hours away. And um, not a whole lot of good prices for resale, but a lot of nice things in there. And this is one of the things we got. Now, I really like this with the fish on it and all. It's a vase, but you see that hairline crack? We got it anyways because it was a good price and it was like $4. And I was gonna put it in my bathroom because I like it. The crack's not on the front, the crack's in the back, so. And I do, I'm doing fishies in my bathroom. Fishies and flowers. <laughs> my flower pins are in there. Um, but the chalkware fish I have a lot of. So this would just be real cute around the tub. Really cute. I love the little fish. Pretty design. I don't know what the maker is, but it has the, you know, the lime pedestals. I don't, I haven't looked it up yet, but it was still nice. And then let me show you this real quick so I can get it out of the way. You know, I know we all love our mug trees. And here is this one. But look at those mugs that are on it too. I may sell this all together. Really cool mugs. I love the striped. And on the pedestals. They have a little uh, pedestal. Um, they're footed. I just love those colors. But I bought it all together, so I may just sell it all together. I don't know. Maybe I'll sell the mugs separate. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Because I know the tree mugs will sell. They always sell those real good. Um, and then we have this cute little guy. Let me move my sticker. It is a, it's, wait. I don't know if that's a poodle or a sheep, a black sheep. It might be a black sheep with a gold um, trim around him. And he is a slanter. Really cute. black and gold. I'm trying to see if that feels something out. No, it's, it's fine. But he's really cute. Black sheep or poodle? I don't know. He's about this big. He's really cute. So, we got him. Now, I got these uh, fishy things. Uh, it says the Ozarks on it. These are really cool. There's only one of these. This black fish with the pebble stones inside. And then, 
Oh wait, how many is there? Four of these. And, you know, I have fish in my bathroom, but I don't really do this style. I'm doing chalkware, so I don't know that I'll keep these or not. So we'll see, because I do like to see horses. Um, so we'll see. But there's four of them. These are the same size. And then this one. And then it goes smaller and smaller. I wonder if it was supposed to be just these three and this one. I don't know. I mean, it seems more right that, you know, they go smaller and smaller and smaller. But look at those. Those are really cool. First time I found these. I mean, I found them before, but they're real pricey. But first time I found them where I can actually buy them. And never seen him before. And he was with them. So, interesting. I like them. And, let's see, we have this um, little Lusterware salt and pepper shaker. It says made in Japan on the bottom. Little flower salt and pepper shaker. I love that blue, orange, and yellow on it. Really cute. And the little on the knob here on the top. And it's little tray. Very cute. And it's lusterware. If I didn't say that already. And it's about this big. <laughs> So, I thought that was adorable. I'm going to reach down in my box and put them down. And then this is a cute guy. Um, it says Japan on it. On the bottom of it. It is a... I don't have no plants that I can reach. A little three-piece vase. Or, oh, and a candle might go in there. That might be a candle holder. And I guess it could hold greenery too. I don't know. I haven't seen one like this before. I just thought it was cute. Actually, I got this piece and some other stuff in a bundle. So, and I didn't see a second one. I just saw it by itself. So I, I grabbed it because it was different, unique looking. But I didn't realize it until just now. That might be a candle holder. And you can still probably put flowers in there. And like the little pedestals at the feet. So that's cute. Um, and this darling little thing. Look at that. I think this is a vintage Easter. It doesn't work. That doesn't work. Um, if there's a year on here, I can't read it. There's the label, but it's an egg tin with a bunny on it, and it's supposed to be a music box. That's not working. He's pretty big. So this would be great for vintage Easter. Always have a hard time finding vintage Easter and Valentine's. I don't come across that very often. So I thought that was a cool find. And I think that was part of the bundle. And then I got this real pretty, uh, pink and black gray little dish candy dish I guess I don't know trinket dish I mean this is 3d ish I mean it stands up but I don't know if it's some kind of hors d'oeuvre dish or what but it's a pretty good decent size but I love that design I love the gold trim around it the blue and and I mean not blue but the blackish gray color with the pink really nice dish and what does it say oh, I need to wear glasses can you read that it does have the sticker got this from an estate sale really nice I picked it up because it's pretty yeah we got this brass glove, but there is a ball here somewhere. I just haven't run across it yet. 
it must be in one of these boxes deep. So, a brass glove, and there's a brass ball that goes with it. Sorry, I can't show you that, because <laughs> I sat down pulling everything out, and the ball's not in here, so it's probably in there or st fell out in the car. I don't know. I have to go find it. Then we have this nice little set. This is a pitcher with its glasses. It's white with the the um, gold, uh, what is this called? What it, gold flake or, um, I don't know, y'all know. But it's a nice, nice little pitcher. And it came with five glasses. Probably had six with it because, let me put them together. There are two blue ones, two of the blue, two of the green. I love that green, minty green with the, you know, the leaves on it. And then one peach color. So I'm assuming there should have been a second peach color one, but they didn't have it when I got it. So it comes with five glasses and the pitcher. Aren't those cute? I couldn't pass them up. They were just a good deal and very cute. Be great on your bar, orange juice in the morning, you know, whatever. Give it life again. Let's give it life. Then we have this cute little doggy planner. There's some greenery in there. Isn't he cute? He's got a basket on his back. Is there? There is a tag on him. And a number engraved on him. Okay, the tag is, ugh. I cannot read this writing. But nevertheless, he's a cutie, right? He's cute, little planter. <laughs> Try and get some of this stuff out of the way. I don't know what that's saying. What does that say? I haven't looked him up yet, but this little red dog, little planter, he's really cute. He's about this big. Cute little red dog. So, that. little girl trinket dish. See how big she is? And her ball gown. And she's a trinket dish. Yeah, and she's got a marking on the bottom of her too. I mean, a peel it off. Got her sticker and Nesco. Might be a Nesco. I can't read the beginning of it because it's folded in. Then, then, then. David was. David's doing this. He's picking up parts of fairy, fairy lamps. Here's a pink one, of the tiara, um, tiara, tiara, and a blue one. Um. So if you need tops, I got some bottoms out there of some, and then I need to list them, you know, so people know we have them. Or maybe he's gonna keep looking and maybe come across the bottoms. I don't know, but he's picking these up. You know how some people break theirs, you know, get broken in the process of something. And then we got this cool little thing. It is a napkin holder of mushroom. It looks like a napkin holder. Uh, this one don't have a label on it. Sometimes they do. It's really cute. The mushroom lucite. So, got that. And, and, and.
Look at this little fun guy. He's a sad little donkey with the bobble head. He has a little chip foot right there, but he has the cute factor going on. Does he not? Yes, he says yes. See? His little spring neck. I don't know what he's originally supposed to look like, if he's missing some hair or what. Oh, he got a little he got a little chip that looks like a some skin missing on his ear. Super cute. Okay, we're getting at 15 minutes now, so gotta get through this. And people are always looking for turtles. Look at this guy. I found a turtle planner. I forget who makes these when it has the lines on it. But cute little turtle planner. He's adorable. Um, and then here we have a swan vase. And another one. See the size difference in these? This one's a big one. And this one is as tall as my head. So this is a blue. With the little feet pedestal. This one has a base. And it's an amber color. Really nice. Really tall. Um, and here we have another bird. Been picking up birds here lately. Cute little red bird. No, uh, no make on him. So, he feels real good. Really pretty. Then, it. we got a little pink shell soap dish. The little legs with the gold uh, trim around it. It's really nice. About that big. For it, put it your bathroom sink. Put a little soap decorate, decorative soap on here. And then I got this cute little guy. First I thought it was a bat. Cause don't that face look like a bat? But it's a cat. See his tail? Cause there's no wings on him. It's a little cat. He's got rhinestone eyes, a little red mouth, but he's a, a pin cushion. Little tiny guy. Really cute. I thought he was adorable. Sit there and hold your pins, your straight pins or whatever. And then, these are really cute. I don't know what I'm good to do with these yet, but look at all these baby deers. Aren't they cute? They're plastic. Um, no markings on them to who they might have been by or, you know, to tell me the year they could have been, but, you know, they're that big. They're about that big and really cute. These are going to be adorable for Christmas or heck, all year round, right? Their babies have got little spots on their back. They're super sweet. So, um, let me look at Oh, and I got this deer. Still in his package. He's got, um, uh, what do you call it? The felt, the, um, flocked, flocked deer with his antlers. Brand new in his package. How cool is that? And he's a, he's kind of a big deer too. So, ooh, got four deers. Oh, get a deer. Oh, dear. And then 
I'm hoping y'all can hear me better because I have my earplugs on so they'll pick up my voice more. And then I got these salt and pepper shakers. They're pretty big. Of these little cute skunky guys. Aren't they? Are they not? Are they not cute? Oh, so cute. Um, did they have a mark on them? I'm not sure if they did or not. If it's been worn off or not. But if they're salt and pepper shakers, yep, they're salt and pepper shakers and they don't have their stopper. So, but they have the cute factor. I think these are just cuter as little whatnots. Hmm. How many of y'all use your decorative salt and pepper shakers? If y'all have these cute, do y'all put actually salt and pepper in them? Do y'all actually use them? Tell me, I, I'm curious. But these are, these guys are really cute. So oh, sweet, so oh, sweet. Um, what's next, what's next? Hurry up, hurry up. How about scratch pad? <laughs> scratch pad it was just I just had to I remember something like this my parents had I think and it just looked familiar and <laughs> I had to get it and it's there's three pieces in here one two three so enough to share mm -hmm. just plain yellow scratch pads with a funny design on it and then we have draw a mouse to my computer this box purse look at that handle very nice handle metal handle and look at the design very cute design what is it the horse carriage carrying people and then somebody pulling their donkey with fruit in the front and the town in the back. It has all, all themes, all kinds of themes on it. Look at the hinges, nice hinges. And then, let's see. I actually got this from a friend. We do trade out, so moving this sticker. So you can see the picture better on top. And then I got something to stick her off. And as seen on the bottom and see the little feet. So it sits off the table some and it has the, the little latch. And it and it's belted inside with the mirror. Look, you can see yourself for days. Isn't that cute? Now, the felt has a little bit of dots on it, coloration. I love that blue, though. A little bright blue. So, that's super cute. Box purse. It's about this big. And, and, and. Oh, let me show you this. Who doesn't love a um, pin, uh, what is it called, clothes pin basket. This one's kind of sheer. The 70s colors. The little hook on it. Where it stays open. And a basket full of pins. So, that's really neat. And then we have... Yes, so we get to that over there. Um, this guy. I had a doggy too, just like this, and it's all wood. But I get um, my daughter-in-law's been looking for a dog. You push the button, he falls down. You got a lot of limbs there. A little giraffe. Ain't he cute? One of those push button guys. You gonna make him dance? Do the break dancing? Um, um, um. Look at this cutie. 
Look at that cute little baby. Cute little baby. And I got a bag of vintage baby hair barrettes. Um, and look at this brooch. Really nice brooch. And I have some more brooches out there I forgot to show. Forgot to grab those. Of course, these probably go in my my collection in my bathroom. Bulldog. Look at him. Ain't he cute? That's his sticker. Um, I gotta pull the sticker off here. This doggy with the ruby, um, the emerald green eyes. And we got this mouse. that loose tail and we also got a cat like that with the loose tail is it cute cat and mouse here's a sticker came off And then this pretty thing. That blue is a sticker on it. But ain't that nice? That looks really old. And then I got these, a couple of these tiny Mexico pottery Tanala pieces. This is a mushroom with a frog on it. Isn't that cute? A pitcher and a snail. He's cute. And, 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 I don't know, David picked this little vase up. He likes littles. Made in Japan. But, cute little kind of luster wear vase. Did I get everything up here? This little guy. Um, and then these boho wood picture frame, I mean not picture frames, but carved wood pictures. Those are pretty cool. They're really tall. Now I have uh, four square ones, little square ones, like four by fours or five by fives. And I had those in my sales and nobody was interested. So I probably have to put these on Etsy. I've sold these before on Etsy. And these go for good money. But I'm not usually a taker in YouTube for this style. But they're cute. I love them. I probably kept them if um, I had a big set like this already sold and some different size ones. Um, I probably would have kept them if I had a wall room. But wall room I do not have. Okay, do y'all remember these? The shrinky dinks? Shrinky dinks? Really cool. Um, yeah, you paint them and you put them in the oven. I've, I think I've done it before. I can't remember. But we have some a tag, and it's of Mickey Mouse. 
It has the instructions in here. And some more, another little booklet. I don't know what this is about. And I, I don't even know if all the pieces are here, if they've been used. Oh, look at those. That, that's, this is good for junk journaling, man. Bright colored pictures. It's a book idea. I don't know if I've ever done this drink of inks. I guess you can make your own because there's some these plastic clear pieces. Um, I don't know. I have to see what that's about. What is that? Do I need to shrink that up myself? There's some raggedy ends in here. <gasps> oh, I need to keep those. I need to figure out how to work that. Those are cute. There's no paint in here, though. Um, more uh, of the paperwork on how to do. And this is all on the raggedy ends. So, this might be a mixed box. I only saw a couple of... Uh, the Mickey Mouse. Yeah, and a little ring set, I guess, and the chain. So we'll have to see about that one. Then we got here. I got this game, and it's not it's missing all the pieces. I mean it's missing a lot of the pieces. I had this game already and the box is all torn up. So I thought I'm gonna get this because this one is in a little bit better shape not really see it's messed up I got this piece that goes here but it is kind of messed up but it's go to the head of the class I mean I love the game board Ain't it cool uh, the game board let's see and and then look at the little figures. This is what I love about this game. I love the the little um, player pieces. Aren't they cute? And I guess here's the cards to it. And two more game pieces. People. So there's two, four, six, eight of those, and more, um, whatever these cards are. I have no idea how this is played, so, but I just, this, these is what, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. What am I going to do with them? I mean, I, at one time, I did collect game boards, and I hung them on the wall for, in the kids' rooms when they were younger for their you know, picture decoration. So, I don't know what happened to all them game boards. Hmm. My kids were younger then. Way younger. Little boys. Little boys they were. And then, of course, I'm keeping this. Look at that. It was already on here. I, really cute. She had a bunch of these, but some of these were messed up, the paper on them. But I'm keeping that one. And then I have... A bunch of um, they're ceramic like yeah ceramic chalkware maybe a strawberry shortcake look at those I guess those two are the same and those two and then this this one needs to be cleaned up it's like tissue paper stuck to it so I need to try to see if I can clean that up without messing it up. And then that one. And she put them on these for whatever reason. So I don't know if these were handmade or what. But there's some little paper on that that i got to try to get off without messing up the decal itself. So, 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 so. Oh, oh I almost forgot. One more thing. I got this because it was adorable, but it is a little dirty you see there from sitting so long being folded 
but I'm going to try to clean it, but that was just cute. It's googly owls, uh, googly owls on the owl, little uh, sailor hat, and then I got this toaster cover. It's really cute. Uh, it's warm as toast in our house. <laughs> And then that, on that side, it has the little scene of the house. Warm as toast. So, that was cute. And then another uh, tablecloth. Square tablecloth. I haven't really checked this one over yet. So, we'll see. But it's cute. I love the colors. It was so bright. Just, uh... Just a square tablecloth with the flowers in the corner. I just love those. Very pretty. And some birds and fruit and stuff. Okay, okay. Um, um, I think that's it. I got this. I'll probably use for it in Sim Lodge. It's a little boy and girl. They're really tiny. Still in a package, jump rope in, and one's holding a doll. But I thought I'm gonna try some assemblages and see how that goes. But okay, that's it. That's it. I can get some of this stuff listed now. They'll be coming up in my live sales. So if you're interested, just let me know. I'm not sure if I had the vases, the swung vases might be an um, offer up, and maybe in, even this picture set might be in, you know, or should I say Texas Throwdown? As I say it, um, what else? I don't even remember now what I had, what I showed you. <sighs> but if you're interested, let me know. I'll tell you if it was a going to be a throwdown or not in the in one of my sales. But all this will be coming to the live sales soon. So again, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. Come back and see me now. You here? Bye. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. If you click that and click that subscribe button okay. up there, there. and then click, 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 give a big, big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Bye. Bye.